What is webinar software? Tonight, let's find out from the inside. Welcome to the inside. In this next few minutes, I'm just gonna quickly show you the functionality of webinars and the easiest way to do that is from the inside, from a presenter's point of view and show the options that a presenter has at their disposal when presenting a webinar. I'm doing that using one of the corporates in terms of the webinar platform types and that's Adobe Connect. So let's get started. Adobe Connect does something which is uh, very interesting and very easy to master which has a series of three different native layouts that you can choose. Now you can choose either of these three layouts for your webinar or you can go and create your own custom one but I'll show you all three of the layouts in Adobe Connect and uh, that'll give you a feeling for the different functionality you'll have at your disposal as well. The one we're looking at the moment is called the discussions layout and it's perfectly set up for discussions. You've got uh, the opportunity for the presenter to have their webcam on and talking in the center top of the screen to facilitate the discussion and lead people in the direction where the discussion needs to go. Over on the bottom here, we've got a place for notes and we can type whatever we want in there whenever we want. I can do that and so can the participants. Everyone can get in there and type away and contribute to the discussion, hopefully with quicker and better typing than me. Down the bottom here, we've got an opportunity for chat as well. And again, it's just a matter of typing in there what you want to do. Again, we chat, we, we contribute to the chat as presenters and also our participants contribute as well. And it's a great way of starting dialogue. We can get feedback quickly to questions we want to ask. And if the participants want to ask us a question, they just have to go down there and pop it in the chat. We can see it and respond to it either straight away or later on during the webinar. Also, there's an opportunity for polls. We can create polls on the fly, or alternatively, you can grab one that you might have preferred, might have prepared earlier. So let's select this one here. How are you enjoying the webinar so far? We've got three options here. Awesome, meh, and poor. Choose between those three. In my case here, let's choose awesome. And you'll see the score come up. 100% of the people who've taken this poll so far have said awesome, funnily enough. In case you didn't work it out, I'm the only person in this webinar. This is just for your benefit. There are no other participants, there's no one else hiding. And you can see that from the attendees list here. In the attendees list, I'm the only person. I'm currently the presenter. I could make myself a participant if I wanted to. I could mute myself or other attendees, which means we can't hear from them at all, which isn't a bad thing from time to time, especially if you want to lead the discussion forward without interruptions. Let's move on to the second layout. The second layout within Adobe Connect is the collaboration layout. And it gives us opportunity here to collaborate using a whiteboard. We can draw, we can type, And we can do this and our participants can do this and we can collaborate and create a document together whether it's a creative diagram or maybe a structure for something we're trying to net out or maybe just brainstorm ideas and get a list of ideas to solve a problem very very clever this collaboration tool this whiteboard we've got an opportunity to upload files as well so if we want to upload files for our participants to see we can either choose something that we've already uploaded into Adobe Connect or we can browse our computer and grab something now the chat is still there and again there's notes functionality as well within the collaboration layout now finally our third layout is sharing and sharing gives the presenter a chance to share their screen, what's on their desktop and what they're using on their computer and you can see exactly what they're doing on their computer. They can share a document, maybe a PowerPoint presentation or a series of slides or documents which leads the participants through some information or share a, a really, really massive large whiteboard. Uh, we can grab something that's been recently shared or grab something new and share it via our screen here. Again, chat functionality follows us around no matter which layout we've got. And again, the list of attendees. With the list of attendees, just a couple of last tips, a couple of things we can do. Uh, firstly, you'll see here that the microphone's flashing when I'm talking, and it goes off when I'm not talking. Okay, It shows you the name of the person who's presenting and talking. Uh, there's a few things we can do. We can raise our hand if we want to. Okay. 
and we can put our put down our hand. That's useful if we want to get some quick input on something. If we have a question, we say, look, is everyone understanding what I'm saying so far? Can you please raise your hand and let us know if that's the case? Very, very useful to get some quick feedback like that. Uh, if someone's got a question, they may raise their hand. There's also other options as to attend feedback that attendees can give you. They can ask you to speak louder or speak softly, or they can give you applause, which is always very nice to see if you're in the middle of a webinar. This is some of the functionality within Adobe Connect. It's not everything, but it's a fair chunk of what you can do as a webinar presenter in Adobe Connect. Uh, it varies with different webinar systems. Uh, some have extra bells and whistles that Adobe Connect doesn't have, and others are missing features that we've talked about in this video today. Hope you've enjoyed your inside tour of what you can do as a webinar presenter and what webinars look like. 10 out of 10 from me. I hope you've enjoyed today's inside look at what is webinar software. For more information about webinars, click the link below to find out about my webinar platforms guide. You can download it free. It includes information about what is a webinar, what are the four types of webinar platforms, the pros and cons of those webinar platforms, selecting the best platform for you, and also where is the software. To find out all of that information, just grab that webinar platforms guide just click the link below the video to grab it. Thanks for watching today's video. Please subscribe and have an awesome day.